Hey everyone, it's Paul. How are we doing? Um, Benny again. Benny's becoming a frequent visitor to the marble table because there hasn't been a lot of marbles running on it lately, so he's a lot happier about that. I uh, just want to do a quick update. Um, um, almost a record for myself, too. We, uh, we we got a new house today. This one's been sold for a while, and we so we're moving from Carlton Place, Ontario, right into Ottawa, and I mean right into Ottawa. Renee's now 12 minutes from work instead of 90 minutes. Um... I just wanted to give a, an update on what's going on here. I did, as I threatened, play with the uh, starter set launch, Graph Direct Power starter set launch. Um, that was very cool. I uh, just went through the book, did the, the standard tracks just to get a feel for everything. And I pulled the, um, what is this? Uh, the Pro Giant set out. And back to unpacking this. And then I integrate all these parts with the Starter set uh, launch with all the other existing components. Um, and then we'll get back to making tracks. The, uh, so uh, I've been a little sidetracked with, uh, with having to buy a house. And, but uh, if, uh, come here, uh, sorry, again, I, I, I got a very sore foot. So I've, uh, you'll see me complaining a lot. I'm not that bad. Um, reason I actually also wanted to film this is, I don't know if you ever noticed hanging behind me, this little parachute. This is a ripcord parachute toy, 27 inch diameter parachute. It's uh, a toy I just loved when I was about eight years old in 1968. It's based on a TV show from the early 60s called Ripcord, um, as shown on the package. I actually have an earlier one. Um, there's no mention of the TV show on this, uh, on this parachute. The reason I'm bringing this up is I was thinking about these and I I thought, oh, I wonder if anybody else has any of these. So I went searching on YouTube, and I found exactly two people that are talking about this. So uh, this is not a trick to uh, ramp up the numbers and generate a lot of, uh, lot of subscribers, because um, as far as I know, there's only two people uh, that know about this. But I just thought maybe they'd be interested to know that there's, uh, there's three. So uh, it's a, it's a really nice toy, and I'm not one of those people that'll take a toy. This toy was packaged in 1960, well, sometime between probably 62 and 65 or 6. And um, so was this one. But I very happily ripped them open and released him from his little plastic sarcophagus. And I'm going to do the same with this one. But before you do that, uh, you have to take a nice smell of the air inside, because that's 60-year-old air. Um, so if uh, anybody's interested in that, uh, and frankly, even if you're not interested, I'll, I'll probably end up doing it anyway. I'm thinking, uh, I've got an awful lot of toys and, uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of old people out there like me who remember a lot of cool toys from the sixties. Yes. I have a birdie bird and a Johnny seven and a Johnny Astro and, uh, Steve Canyon jet pilot helmets with, a <laughs> talking stuff. So, and, uh, a few hundred models and, and, uh. All sorts of stuff like that. So I thought maybe I'll be pulling that stuff out once in a while. And uh, as I said right from the beginning, um, this whole channel was intended to be a uh, sort of a little diary for me. I'm, I'm getting older and I want to maybe look back in a few years on what I was doing when I was old. Um, so, uh, but uh, I'm finding there's, uh, there's other people out there that have... Uh, Mutual interest. Hey, what do you know? There's other people out there that have cats and love cats too. And there's Gravitax, Gravitrax people out there. And um, I'm not doing any wood carving right now. I, I, when we sold the house, I packed up all the wood. That's a, a big involved process. That's a room unto itself with, uh, with uh, sharpening equipment and um, preparation tools. And I have a lot of wood carving tools and they're all razor sharp and I have two cats. So I can't just kind of leave those things laying around. It's, it has to be a very, very controlled environment. But uh, I am looking forward in the uh, near future to pulling out the woodworking tools and doing some new carvings. Don't think I can really integrate that into Gravitrax. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a uh, unscripted interview. I'm, uh, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm always just off the cuff. So um, just trying to keep some contact with people, which is, which is always fun. I feel I'm getting a lot less shy. I think maybe because I don't think a lot of people are making it to the end. I don't blame you. I, I don't make it to the end when I'm when I'm checking them out. I just 
assume. I don't think I said any terrible anything too terrible. I'll just uh, I'll just post that. It should be good. Um, so that's the update. Well, what else was there? Um, the ripcord parachutes. Got to talk about those. Uh, the carving. What's going on with the track and uh, the power stuff. So uh, I'm gonna unpack all this, get it all integrated, and build a track using power launches. I look forward to that. All right, thank you very much for watching. See ya.